We're bringing you That's a Job for presented by Jiffy Lube. Getting the Bills to the postseason and maybe potentially to the Super Bowl. Sounds like it could be a job for Joe Brady. Brady leading Buffalo to a win over the Jets in his first week as the interim OC for Buffalo. Brady taking over the play calling for Ken Dorsey, who was fired after Buffalo's loss to the Broncos in Week 10. Now, if the season ended today, the Bills are on the outside looking in, and according to Sportsline, the Bills now have a 27.3% chance at getting to the playoffs. Now, the Bills have dropped 25 or more points on their opponents four times this season. And the last time that they did that, take a look, that was 1992. They went to the Super Bowl and lost there. Buffalo sitting at 6-5 and five on the season after beating the Jets in Week 11. And Josh Allen was giving praise to multiple teammates in his chat with Tracy Wolfson after that win. Well, great win today. A lot of changes this week, specifically at the offensive coordinator position. What did you see from Joe Brady in this offense that was maybe different earlier in this season? Um, I mean, you know, it, it took a lot of hands to to help out this week filling roles. But you know what? It, it started play one with Reggie Gilliam on kickoff, setting the tone for this team. Coach McDermott, you know, a lot of talk this week about owning your role. And that's a guy that doesn't get a lot of burn on the offensive side of the ball, plays a lot of special teams, but he's got one job on special teams, and that's go hit people. And he did that tonight. He set the tone for us. Our defense played well, you know, trading for Rasul, coming out and having two interceptions, a fumble recovery, putting us in some good spots. And offensively, we executed. We ran the ball well. We had Ty Johnson, who hasn't been active that many games this year. We had Khalil Shakir have uh, over 100 yards for the first time in his career. So guys stepped up, guys made some plays, uh, and we're going to need more of that going forward. I know you're not going to talk about yourself, but I'm going to ask you about your performance, especially against a formidable defense that we know they've talked about how they've handled top-tier quarterbacks. I'm sure that hit a nerve. So why were you so successful out here? I was just trusting my guys. That's it. <laughs> Great answer. You have an upcoming game against Philadelphia. We're going to see you on Sunday. A big schedule up ahead. What's it going to take to get that playoff push down the stretch? It's going to take everybody pulling together, playing as a team, taking it one game at a time. Um, like you said, we'll, we'll we'll turn our attention to them tomorrow. Um, I think they're are they playing tomorrow night, Monday night, or are they tonight? They're tomorrow night. So they're going to be on a short week. We'll, we'll watch their film, get to them when we can. But we'll enjoy this one. Celebrate accordingly. It's hard to win this league. You know, it's a, it's not a that's not a bad football team that we just played. They're very well coached. Um, so again, we'll, we'll enjoy this one, and we got to look forward to the Eagles next week. Go we'll celebrate. Thanks Thank a lot, you, Tracy. Appreciate it. Go Bills. And you heard Josh Allen there. The uh, task does not get any easier moving forward. When you look at the Bills' schedule, they do get the Eagles. That is 425 Eastern on Sunday on CBS. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson on the call for that matchup. And, of course, you can stream all of these matchups here on Paramount Plus as well.